So Donnie's in half guard. So we'll use this from a wrestling or from a jujitsu standpoint. So I'm sitting here in my opponent's half guard and I can't pass. I can't, uh, he's a real good solid jujitsu guy and, and he's going to stay uh, underneath of me and he's going to try to sweep me, of course. So what I'm going to do, loosen up, is I'm going to go hip down, just like this. This is a pretty solid, this is a pretty common position for uh, jujitsu. By this, I mean I, now I pretty much take away his underhook. You understand? If I take away his underhook, he is limited. He can go to a couple places. So we should all know from the top side this position here, the Kimura. So the first thing I'm doing to, to try to do to Donnie is I'm not letting him get his other hand, hand into play. Try to get your other hand through. So I should really use my hips and my uh, lower part, this part here on the other side, to not let him dig his hands through. And that's going to allow me to get this hand in, just like this. Once this hand is in, I bring my hand to the other side. So, so jiu-jitsu will tell you to go and use your momentum from up here to use your wrist and to try to push back. Catch wrestling tells you the exact opposite. So what I'm going to do for catch wrestling is, you okay, Donnie? Yeah. I'm going to take my hand and I'm going to go to the inside of his hand. I'm going to let go like this. If I let go like this, I now have this hand to start kind of posting and I can go right to a, a downward position. This kind of makes you, okay, Donnie? Yeah. I'm trying to keep my weight off of you. Yeah. So this position right here, it takes a little bit of angle to really sit here and torque and twist. And also, it also makes, when I do this, I alleviate hip pressure. You understand that? So now, right, he can start shrimping, and that's going to make my gillet or my Kimura even harder. So with catch wrestling, it's much easier. What we do is we get it nice and close to my opponent's body, and we twist. We push the hand up. We don't do this. We use this to create space, tuck it underneath of him, and twist. So it's a real simple way. <clears throat> also, I can pass my opponent's guard. I can just sit here and go like this and work my leg out. Okay? So that's the first one. So the second one is the same idea. This position, get it nice and tight, Donnie. Donnie's going to hold on here. He's not going to let go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to catch my opponent's foot, just like this. And I'm going to stand up, and I'm going to Indian death lock it. This also makes him un you okay? Yeah, man. Hurts, right? Yeah, this right. also makes him very, very uncomfortable. So what I do is I put my hand in the middle of his chest and I just keep driving. Like this, here, trying to hold him down because I'm baiting him. The Indian death lock is this position here. <laughs> Super painful, right? <laughs> you understand? Very, very painful. So, <clears throat> so understand the techniques. We're not doing jujitsu now. We stop the momentum. We're going, all right, <clears throat> you do jujitsu. I'm not going to do jujitsu. So the first thing is, I don't let him, loosen up your bottom hand. I don't let him get his bottom hand into play. I don't ever lift my hips and start looking for Kimuras and doing this. Because what does this lead to? The deep half guard. Yep. So now, instead of doing that, I, he gets his hand up on, and he's, if he's a jujitsu guy, he's not going to be afraid of this position. Right. You understand? He's going to think, all right, well, when he, loosen up, when he starts to do this and trying to get the Kimura position, I'm going to start pushing on his bottom hip. Exactly mm. right, Donnie. So he can fight this all he wants. Because really, well, this is what I'm looking for, this right here. I really <clears throat> want to get my foot all the way over. You understand this? If I get my foot all the way over, he is not getting these feet uncrossed. This, he, you have to have a little bit of dexterity. And what we're looking to do is point my toe toward his butt. So when we were faking him up here, understand, we're looking for the Indian death lock. So now I step off real quick and I stand up. And I hold him down on the ground. And I'll loosen up on the so it's not so painful. If my foot is way back here, nothing. I push him on the ground or I put my hand on his throat and I kick, try to kick him in the nuts. Then I lean back <laughs> and I squeeze. Okay? So the first one is very simple. I just grab his wrist and I turn it up and underneath. You shouldn't have to lift your hips up. You should just be able to here. Also, I can compression lock him with the wrist. 
So the whole time, what I'm really looking to do is catch his foot, stand up, and try the Indian deck lock. Give it a try, guys. <laughs> 